Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good to see you. Hey, are you ready for start? Yes, we're ready. Okay, excellent. Okay, for today, remember we have to finish section three. Okay, did you finish all the exercises in the platform? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay, Hidalma. Okay, what about the homework? I already have some of them, but not all. Hey, algunos si las enviaron, otros todavía no. Remember to send the, the homework. I will check the, the questions tomorrow morning, and I will let you know if it is something that you have to change, okay? Yes? Y los que no lo han enviado, la tarea la envían. Y yo en el transcurso de la mañana, del día de mañana, las estaré revisando. Y si hay alguna corrección que hacer, yo les, les aviso. Okay, for today we have the placement adjectives. That's today's topic. Okay. okay, if we talk about adjectives, okay, adjectives are words that we use to describe. Okay, adjectives describe nouns. The nouns are part of our uh, subject in the majority of cases. Okay. Okay, the homework, you can send it to my personal number. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, section three, conversation, sing. Okay, remember the questions have to be in simple present tense. Okay, they have to be in simple present and you, you have to use a double H word. You have to use a double H word. Um, por ahí les mandaba la estructura. 
okay, de las de las preguntas. Remember, in, in some cases, you don't need to use the, the auxiliary, okay? But in most of the cases, yes, you do. Okay, I don't know what happened with the manual. Okay, so we have placement of adjectives and we have the conversation. Okay, I think the conversation we did yesterday, right? Okay. We have two forms uh, or two places to write an adjective. Okay. We can use it or two ways uh, uh, of using it. Okay. You can use an adjective with a verb to be. Okay, or you can use an adjective with a noun. Okay, como les decía, en el caso de, de los nouns o los subjects, okay, el sujeto de la oración es como el más común, is the, the most common. Okay, we use an, an adjective to describe something about the subject. Okay, acerca del sujeto de la oración, que en su mayoría de veces, it's a noun. Okay, it could be a person, it could be a place, it could be an animal. Okay, and uh, if you are going to use an adjective with a noun, okay, you start with the adjective. Okay. A firefighter has a dangerous, y en este caso el noun que está describiendo es job. Okay, a firefighter has a dangerous job. Okay, está hablando del trabajo del bombero, que tiene un trabajo peligroso. Okay, if you notice here in this example, the noun is not part of the subject. En este caso, no es parte del sujeto, ¿verdad? Pero siempre va, eh, que, lo que usted tiene que verificar es que el adjective y el noun vayan juntos. ¿Okay? Y les comentaba que tiene que ir antes del noun. ¿Okay? So you have to start with the, with the adjective and then you're going to to say the, the noun, okay? A doctor has a stressful job, okay? Hablando otra, nuevamente del trabajo. Pero la otra manera eh, that we can use an adjective is with a verb to be. And in this case, the verb to be 
will separate. El verbo to be nos va a separar o nos va a linkear el noun, que en este caso lo vamos a poner antes. Ok. A firefighter's job is dangerous. Okay. El verb to be nos sirve para linkear nuestro sustantivo con nuestro adjetivo. Okay. A doctor's job is stressful. Okay. Both ways are very common. And then we have some sentences or some examples. Okay, a musician's job, it's interesting. Okay, and we have here, I think we have this exercise on the platform. Only let me open another, another view. Mm, by the moment, do you have questions? Esa parte no está clara, okay. Questions? Yo, 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 este, cuando ocupamos el hat, es para como definir el trabajo, cómo es el trabajo de alguien. ¿no? Yes. Ok, gracias. Okay. Eh, en este caso es un trabajo, pero puede ser eh, cualquier, como les decía, eh, el noun puede ser eh, diferentes cosas. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, ella tiene cabello negro. Ok, entonces, I, I will say, she has black hair. Entonces, yo voy a describir el color del cabello. Entonces, no necesariamente va a ser un trabajo, sino que puede ser cualquier cosa que la persona tenga. Yes, Álvaro. ¿Cómo? Repeat, please. No. No. Casi no lo entiendo. Creo que dice qué significa now. Ah, qué significa now. Thank you. Ok. Now es sustantivo. Un sustantivo. Entonces, por eso les decía yo que el sustantivo puede ser a person, sí. ajá, una persona. Una persona, persona un trabajo, esto. Yes, una cosa, un lugar. Eh, yes. Ok. Ok. Ok, so let's do the exercises. Okay, the first was the example. Okay, number two, a police officer's job is dangerous. So now we're going to use a uh, has. Okay, how how will be the the sentence? A police officer. Yes. I have. 
I have. Has, porque es tercera persona del singular. I has. A dangerous job. Ok. Yes. Number three. A teacher's job is stressful. A teacher a has a teacher has a stressful how a stressful job. Teacher, me puede repetir esa palabra, por favor. Stressful. Stressful. Okay. Gracias. Stressful job. Number four, a plumber's job is boring. A plumber, a job. Have or has? Has. 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 A boring. 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 Job. Job. Okay. An electrician's job is difficult. An electrician's job. An electrician's job. Okay. And number six, a vendor's job is easy. A vendor, 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 a job. a vendor, a vendor, a Adjetivo empieza con vowel, con vocal, vamos a utilizar an, an. Y si empieza con consonante, a. Ok, a stressful, a boring, a difficult. Pero si es vowel, an easy, an easy job. Ok. Excellent. Okay, the last exercise of this section. Well, this topic, let's make some examples. Your own examples. Okay, using adjectives. Um, well, the adjectives, you can classify adjectives in positive and negative. You can say something possible about something or something could be uh, bad or not pleasant. Entonces, en ese caso, usaríamos eh, adjetivos negativos or negative adjectives. Okay. Only, let me look for, um, okay, here. I think I have some examples of adjectives. Okay, por aquí tengo algunos ejemplos. Let me, let me check. Mm, yes. Uh, here we have the structure. 
Okay, of the WH questions. Mm. Okay, aquí está lo de los adjectives. Okay, here is raining, so probably my internet connection is uh, slowly. Okay, muy bien, decíamos que the adjectives are words that describe, en este caso, nouns. Okay, ya mencionamos cuáles son los nouns, cuáles pueden ser los nouns. Y they can tell us about a noun. Okay, nos, pueden, nos dicen como las características que estos sustantivos poseen. Okay, it could be the color, the shape, the size, the smell, the feeling, the taste, the sound, or I don't read that. So you can say anything about the noun. Y aquí tenemos eh, como las dos formas ¿verdad? que ya habíamos visto. Okay, que sería eh, a continuación, dice, del noun, and then the adjective, okay? A brown armchair, bright lamps. Okay, ponemos primero nuestro adjective, and then the noun. Y también dice que puede estar separado uh, por el verb to be, okay? Um, the armchair is comfortable. The waiter is kind. So here are more examples. And then, okay, here we have some adjectives. Okay. In this case, we are going to describe uh, people. We are going to describe people. Okay, number one is lazy. Okay, number two, what do you think is, is the adjective? Happy, okay. Okay. Number three. Sad. Sad. Okay. Number four. Boring. Boring. Sleep. Boring. Boring. Okay. Or oh, bored. Yes, in this case. Bored. Number five. Angry. 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 Number six. Hungry. Hungry. Number seven. Late. Yes. Well, could be. Mm, late. Okay. Or also busy. Yeah. Yeah. In number eight, sick, sick, sick. Okay. Number nine. Oh, really? Scared. Scared. Okay. Scared. 
or let me see, guess, scared, nervous, also could be nervous, scared, nervous. And the last one, sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. sleepy. yes, sleep, sleepy. Okay, we have a difference between an adjective and a uh, on noun or a verb. Okay, I have a sleep, which is a verb. Sleep sería dormido, but sleepy es como somnoliento. Okay, so it's a difference between uh, the two words. Igual que scare. Okay, scare is miedo, but scared with D. Okay, is miedos. Okay, so that's the way. Okay, with, with these adjectives, and the others that we have here, okay, you are going to create two sentences. One using the verb to be, and the other one um, without the verb to be. Okay, the last two formas que vimos. Okay, for example, I can say, my English teacher, is angry, okay? Usando el verb to be. Pero también puedo decir, ¿cómo sería de la otra manera? Well, in this case also, como estamos hablando de la persona en sí, Ah, por eso tenía la otra presentación here. Wait a minute. Otra parte. Okay. This part. Okay. About stated verbs and active verbs. Que okay. acerca de los tipos de verbo que serían los verbos de estado y los verbos de acción. Para el caso de el verb to be, entra en la categoría de un verbo de estado. Entonces, yo estoy diciendo como una persona es o como una persona está. Entonces, en este caso, cuando yo digo uh, que mi maestra es, es, o está enojada, ok, estoy hablando directamente de la persona y estoy utilizando un stated verb. Entonces, acá no podría yo hacerlo de la otra manera que vimos, de la forma atributiva, ok, porque... Eh, no puedo eh, como atribuirle directamente al, a la teacher. O sea, no puedo decir, well, yes, I have an angry teacher. Oh, my, my English teacher is angry. Mm, or oh, probably yes. But in some cases, with the verb to be, cuando estamos hablando específicamente de estados, de estado, utilizando el verb to be para hablar de estado, ¿ok? En ese caso, este, no siempre vamos a poder hacer el cambio. Ok, so I can say que um, okay, my grandpa is lazy, ¿ok? Or I have a lazy grandpa. Okay. 
So now you are going to do your own examples. Okay, you can use adjectives from here, okay, or you can use another adjectives that you know. Okay, you are going to type your two examples. Lo van a escribir en este caso on the chat here on Zoom. Okay, write your two examples. Uno utilizando is y el otro utilizando have or has. Questions about this? Well, then, let's see the examples and then we can check them. Okay, my uncle is sick. Okay. Okay, Ovidio, in this case, we cannot use a contraction. En este caso, no podemos usar la contracción, okay. sino okay. que tenemos Thank que usar you. the full form. My sister is He's tired. tired. Okay. Yes. Thank you. My mother is a very beautiful, is Le faltó el noun, Davis. Una muy bonita eh, persona, una muy bonita mujer. You have to use the, 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 the noun. Okay, my mother is a very beautiful woman. Or my mother is a very nice person. I have a beautiful mother. Okay. Okay, she's sad. My best friend is scared. Okay. My sister is angry. My best friend is angry. She has a black car, my best friend has hungry. Okay, in Espanol, we say tengo hambre, but in English, es un estado. Okay, is, my, my best friend is hungry. Está hambriento. Is hungry. My partner is nervous. Okay. My boyfriend is sleepy. She is. Okay, Pamela. She is very lazy. My brother is sleepy. She's tired. Oh, she has um, she is he is Seria Karen. He is late to work. He is late to work. My teacher is very happy. 
que cuando usamos el is no necesitamos poner a o or an. Ese lo vamos a usar cuando ponemos el noun. Que I have a very happy English teacher. My husband is angry. Okay, my dad is happy. My cousin has long hair. Okay. What angry is your father? Okay. Carla, ¿qué quiere preguntar aquí? ¿Qué tan enojado es o por qué está enojado? Eh, eh, ahí dice, ¿qué enojado es tu padre? Mm. Pero sería como, ¿qué tan, ¿qué tan enojado es tu padre? O sea, porque si yo digo, ¿qué enojado es tu padre? Es una afirmación. Ajá, una afirmación. Pero le puso un question mark. Entonces sería, uh, your father is angry, si es una afirmación. Si lo va a dejar en forma de pregunta, tiene que utilizar how much, okay. how much angry is your father, que qué tan enojado está, how much. Ok, gracias. Okay, they have their own business. Okay, ¿dónde está el adjetivo ahí? Alba. They have their own business. Tenemos el noun, pero no estamos diciendo nada del noun. ¿Cómo es el business? ¿Es exitoso, popular? I have a very quiet son. Okay. My children is quiet, sin el A. My children, ma. Si es la misma, ah, no, es diferente. My children, children es plural, recuerden. Entonces tenemos que cambiar el verbo a are. My children are quiet. O lo dejamos en singular. My child is quiet. Sin el A. My father. Uh, um, en este caso, Karen, tenemos que, bueno, nuestro noun sería cold. Cold es resfriado, ¿verdad? Me imagino que quiere decir mi padre tiene un resfriado. Yes, Karen. Um, creo que lo confundí porque pensé que cold era como, como que tiene frío. Ah, oh, yes, uh -huh. también. Okay, okay, entonces si lo va a usar... Así tendría que ser is. My father is, porque estamos hablando de un estado. ¿Cómo está? Está con frío. My father is cold or is very cold. Ok, thank you. Why is it, why is it so cold today? Ok. My father is very upset. My mom is happy. My sister is naughty. Okay. My cousin has a poor work. Okay, excellent. My daughter is busy. My son is happy. I have a happy son. Okay. My work is very interesting. Sing it up. My work is very interesting. I have a, a you see, a very interesting job. Okay. My neighbor is very crazy. <laughs> My friend has brown eyes. Okay. I'm very hungry. Okay. Muy bien. In general, okay, it was good. Okay. In general. 
Hey, do you have questions about this topic? How to use adjectives and how and where you are going to place the adjectives. Mm, no, no questions. Hello, people. No question. No question. No question. Okay. So let's move to the reading. Hey, Joe profiles. In this class, you'll develop. Hi, everyone. In this class, after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading job profiles. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult, and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for... eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video... game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and, of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Okay. So here is the reading. And then we have some questions. About the reading. Okay, we have an actress, a video game tester, a dog walker, and a teacher. And we have some characteristics to 
all of these jobs. Okay, what can what can we say about uh be an actress? Okay, how uh characteristics can you find here? Or what adjectives did you observe or did you listen on the reading? Tell me the adjectives. Estamos ahorita con Lisa Parker. Her sketch out is difficult. Difficult. Muy bien. That's one. She's a waitress. But is that an adjective? She's tired. Tired. Okay. Tired. Yes. She followed the her dream. Okay, we have difficult. But what is the adjective? Difficult, yes, that's an adjective. And tired, oh, también. Ah, entonces sí podemos contractar, mire, Ovidio. She's tired. She's, she's tired a lot. Okay, y cuál sería, do, do, do we have another adjective in this, in this part of the reading? She follows her dreams. Esa no sería un adjective. Aquí, following is a verb. Dreamer. Okay. She's a dreamer. Her dream. Dream is a noun. Sueño. A noun. Dreamer. No, her dream. Dream. No. Dream es sueño. Ella está siguiendo su sueño. She's following her dream. Okay, now the video game tester. Okay, tell me the adjectives that you find. Young is a video game tester. Mm. Boring. Okay, boring, boring, yes. It is, they say, is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Okay, we only have boring. That's the only adjective that, that we have here. Okay. Como todavía no hemos visto el otro tiempo, el otro tiempo verbal que es que aparece aquí, que en este caso sería el presente continuo, que por eso es que eh, se están como confundiendo, porque va después del is, del verb to be, pero no siempre es un adjetivo el que va después. Que dice John is a video game tester, que okay? ese sería como el noun, o sea, él es un, no sé, en español, pero como de los que... Jugador de juego. Yes, me imagino que tiene un, como un nombre técnico, pero sí, es, 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 es eso. Pero no es un adjetivo, okay. sino que es un, es un noun, it's a job. Okay. Ah, we no, have another okay. adjective. Ya lo vi, no lo había visto. We have one more adjective. Can you find it? He played video you game. Mm. No. Wins, teacher. No, wins is a verb. El siempre gana. Which one? Y 
Young Thief at video game Festo? No. Ese dijimos que era el trabajo. Uh, is big. Big, yes. For a big video game company. A big company. Ese sería el otro adjective. Muy bien. Excellent. Okay, now. The walker. Okay, what are the adjectives? Adjetivos. Professional teacher. Yes, correct. Can you remember an adjective when you when you add information about something? Okay, entonces nuestro noun sería dog walker. Una caminadora de perros, pero nos está añadiendo o diciendo más acerca de esa persona que es caminadora de, de perros. O sea, que es una profesional, a professional dog walker. Ok. And the last one, the teacher. Busy. What? Busy. Busy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Busy man. Okay. What? Students. Happy, yes, happy, and we, we have one more. Great. Yes, correct. Aunque en este caso lo está, está diciendo en forma negativa, okay, pero sí es un adjective que está describiendo cómo es su paga o su salario. Ok, yes. Questions? No. No question. Okay. So the last exercise of the section. Who do you think might say these things? After I win, I take a break. John Blue. John, John Blue. John Blue. I don't usually work in the summer. Carlos Ruiz. Yes. He has vacation. The restaurant closes late around. Lisa Parker. Okay. After work, my feet and my arms are tired. Are Becky, tired. Becky Pick. Becky Pick. Becky Pick. Okay. Yes, excellent. Muy bien, entonces solamente nos quedaría de middle term. Y no lo vamos a lograr terminar ahora. Pero si alguien ha tenido problemas con algún ejercicio, okay, we have a few minutes.
algún ejercicio que les haya dado problema con el que tengan duda. No. Wow, you are great students. Excellent. You never have questions or I am a very good teacher. I don't know. Complete the conversation. Use the simple present of the verb. Select the option that contains the two words. Okay. Do you live alone? No, I don't. Okay, number one. Does your apartment building have an elevator? An elevator? Okay, correct. Yes, it. Yes, it does. Yes, yes it, it does. does. Correct. Number two. Do have they bedroom have closet? Okay. Do the bedrooms have closets? No, they don't. Don't. Okay, good. I'll scramble the sentences. Okay, example, there are some chairs in the kitchen. Number one. There isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Okay, hey, excellent. Number two. There are no pictures in the house. There are, or there aren't. There are no. There are no pictures, yes, in the hall. In the hall. In the hall. Number three. There aren't any curtains. Okay. There aren't any curtains. Uh huh. Okay. That's it. Mm. In the dining room. In the room. In the dining room. room. Yes, dining, not dining room, dining. In the dining room. Okay. There aren't any fortunes in the Dining room. Okay. So we are going to stop here. Let me check the time. Yes. And we will continue tomorrow with the rest of exercises. Y recuerde que usted debe completarla because on Thursday morning, they are going to check the platform. Okay. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.